balls. Golf balls, orange balls, cannon balls. What a load of old balls. Eh? Oh, marble. Marble Madness is the game where you roll around as a marble, bump into things, and inevitably fall off the edge of existence into the dark void of nothingness. But it's all okay. You'll just get reincarnated as another marble and be able to continue on the journey every marble must take. But you better do it quickly, because like everything in life, you're against the clock, run out of time, and you've got to start all over again. It'd be okay if everything in Marble Madness wasn't blatantly dangerous. You can tell Marble Madness is a game of its time. It's full of health and safety violations we wouldn't put up with these days. Nah, there'd be an uproar, wouldn't there? They'd all be saying, Ah, it's terrible, all those marble deaths, isn't it? All the marbles falling off those cliffs into oblivion. Yeah, it's really dangerous. They should put barriers up or something. Well, I'm going to get on to that Minister of Marble Safety, give him a piece of my mind. But they start off with railings, don't they? But it's like they get bored of keeping marble safe. Nah, they probably enjoy it. All that marble pain. It's probably a weird fetish on the internet or something. It's not the only dangers you face in Marble Madness. No, there's evil marbles to contend with. You battle with them to the death. Or, you know, you could be non-confrontational about the whole thing and just bypass them entirely. But that's the coward's way out, isn't it? Any self-respect in Marble would put up a fight. But questionable planning and evil Mirror Universe Marbles aren't the only gross violations to the health and safety code. Nah, somebody thought it was a good idea to let loose some green acidic slime. It just goes everywhere like it owns the place. Right dangerous, that is roll into it and you just corrode away into nothing. But you can sort all these problems out on the Spectrum version. It's got a level editor. Just replace those horrific health and safety violations with nice safe flat planes. See, it's a lot safer now. There'll be no death here. But you're out of luck with other versions. You're stuck with levels that come with the game. Stuck with a world destined to hurt you. Every single pixel designed to inflict pain, to trip you up, to make you fall into the darkness, till time has elapsed and you have to do it all over again. Do marbles bleed? <laughs> no, that's a stupid question. They shatter into a sharp broken mess. Your mistake, left there for the whole world to see, till it swept away, like it never happened, and you carry on oblivious to your past mistakes. You keep on bounding forwards into the unknown, deluding yourself into thinking it won't happen again. But you know what? It will. Because this is a world not meant for marbles. Not sentient ones at least. Maybe if it was all left down to gravity, then things would be okay. But under your control, it just leads to a broken mess. Maybe you'll be lucky and get stuck. But that's not very likely, is it? And the small solace of being stuck, of being safe, is only temporary. Soon it will start all over again, and you'll be back at square one, rolling downward into a spiral of desperation and despair. Maybe you'll find some comfort destroying those that have crossed your path. But it's hardly fair, is it? When they're tiny, but even that bit of fun is fleeting, because before long, your time's up, and you begin again, because your crusade to the finish is never ending. <laughs>